Well, it would be dead boring for one thing, because all the funny and fun parts of the book are in the mistakes I made. And I learned something from my high school teacher, Mr. Wallace. He assigned us to write a paper on an historical figure, and I chose a woman I admired. No, I idolized. And I spent hours doing exhaustive research and produced this paper, of which I knew would get an A. But when I got it back, there was a big red C scrawled at the top. I was shocked. Under that was written, perfect people are rarely true and never interesting. And if I only told you the sweet and nice things about me, the book would be a pamphlet. I hope reading about my flaws and mistakes makes them laugh and that it helps them to lighten up and, and accept themselves, flaws and all, and face life with humor. We get all caught up in our need to be right or perfect, caught up in what I call our supposed to be's. I'm supposed to know the answer, so I won't ask questions. I'm supposed to be perfect, so I won't take chances. And when they do make a mistake, they beat themselves up instead of looking at the mistake and learning from it and laughing. Because we learn a lot more when we're laughing than when we're beating ourselves up. I'm not sure I'd tell her anything, because the most important things we need to learn in life, we have to learn by living and making mistakes. Although I might tell my high school self that plain geometry would never, ever matter to her. I actually started by writing poetry. I wrote about the people on Batain Street. Mama and Daddy, Aunt Pauline, and, and the old people who sat on their front porches every afternoon when I was coming home from school. And gradually, I realized that it, it was a book. And, and it was important to preserve the things that I had learned from these people. Some of my favorite lines in the book came directly from the poems because they gave it color. Actually, the easiest part was writing it. The Tame Street is so vivid in my mind that I see it as though I'm watching a YouTube. The harder part was answering the so what questions to make what I knew and make the Tame Street relevant to the readers. The really hardest part was afterwards. I was terrified of going out and presenting this and, and to publishers or agents. It sat there in my, in my computer, and I did what so many people do. I worked on it. I rewrote it. I revised it and kept doing it. I was pretending I was making progress or doing something worthwhile. Until finally my husband said, the book is done. You have to get busy. And I did it. And now it feels wonderful to have people able to read about the, the people that I love so much who taught me so much. As a society, I think we're better than we were. But we still have setbacks, and we still have a way to go. When my husband graduated from Columbia Law School, there were five women in the class to 500 and whatever men. And these women had to have guts to get through because they were tortured. Last year, there were almost equal men and women in Columbia Law School, according to their website. That's progress but we still have a way to go in the, in the amount of money these lawyers make. However, those women and a lot of other top-of-their-field women still don't make as much money as men, and so we still have ways to go.